Herb Adderley, the Hall of Fame cornerback who played for coach Vince Lombardi's Green Bay Packer teams that won five NFL championships in the 1960s, including the first two Super Bowls, and then helped take the Dallas Cowboys to their first Super Bowl victory, died on Friday. He was 81. The Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, announced his death. No details were provided, but the Packers said he had recently been hospitalized. When Adderley arrived at the Packers' 1961 training camp as a first-round draft pick and a former All-Big Ten running back at Michigan State, he expected to be a backup for the Packers stars Jim Taylor at fullback and Paul Horning at halfback, and that is what he became. Going into the annual Thanksgiving Day game between the Packers and the Detroit Lions, he had not run from scrimmage all season. But Lombardi, who saw Adderley as the best pure athlete on the team, finally gave him a chance in the defensive alignment. He inserted Adderley, who had played some defense in college, at left cornerback in the second quarter when the Packers' secondary, already short-handed, lost cornerback Hank Greminger to an injury. I was in a state of shock, Adderley told the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel long afterward. I was shaking and nervous. I had no time to ask anybody any questions. I didn't know what I was doing. Nonetheless, he intercepted a fourth-quarter pass from the Lions' Jim Nanowski, helping the Packers rally for a 17-9 victory. In December, the Packers won their first NFL championship under Lombardi, routing the Giants, 37-0. Adderley played for nine seasons with the Packers and three for the Cowboys. He had speed and decent enough size for a cornerback of his time, at 6 foot 1 and 205 pounds, and he intercepted 48 regular season passes, running seven of them back for touchdowns. He took an interception 60 yards for a score when the Packers defeated the Oakland Raiders in Super Bowl II. Adderley was selected for the NFL's all-decade team of the 1960s, playing on a defense that included the future Hall of Famers Willie Wood at safety, Willie Davis at end, Henry Jordan at tackle and Ray Nitschke and Dave Robinson at linebacker. Wood died in February at 83, and Davis died in April at 85. Adderley was an outstanding kickoff returner as well. He ran the ball back 103 yards against the Baltimore Colts and took another kickoff for a 98-yard score against the Los Angeles Rams. He was among only a few black players on the Packers when he joined the team. When the Packers faced the Washington Redskins in a 1961 preseason game in Columbus, Georgia, where hotels were segregated, the entire team stayed at Fort Benning, an Army base. As Adderley recalled, Lombardi said, I'd rather be here with all my players than be split up somewhere else. Adderley said that landlords would not to rent to the Packers' black players when he was a rookie, leaving him to live with Davis and the running back Elijah Pitts in what he called a shack on the outskirts of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Lombardi met with real estate agents after that, Adderley recalled, and the following year, it was different. We had decent housing. He opened a lot of doors for black folks and black families, many that had nothing. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me why. Save my life, save my life.